Bam, 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 bam. Hello everyone! Today, oh, sorry, I was just doing some testing. We're gonna do a very overpowered green dye cactus XP bone meal farm. Yeah, you pro you heard that right. XP cactus green dye bone meal farm. Well, we're going to start with the cactus farm first. You're going to need to make three of them, but first I'm going to show you how. Let me just get some cactus. Oh, there it is. I could have just got all the cactus from here when I was testing. <laughs> I forgot about that. You need cactus. Fence. Fence? Where are, where are the fences? Oh, here. Fence of your choice. I don't think that you can use walls, but I'm not sure. Okay, and then you want water, hoppers, and tests. I think that's all. Oh, and also a block of your choice. I'm going to use sandstone. Because, well, if place is filled with it. So then I want to go two blocks up. I'm going to have two blocks here. That will be for the collection system. Then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oops, not there. <laughs> four. <coughs> Sorry, one, two, three, four. Then you want to break a hole in the middle. This will be for the collection system. Whoa, maybe that wasn't such a good choice. I could barely see it. Oh, well. Then you want to fill in your corners, just like we did with the mob farm. Go check out my other videos if you haven't already. I recommend them. They're cool. <laughs> so we want to fill all the way. all This in all the way. Yeah, so it'll be. This will look nice. Mm, depends on what you're using. If it will look nice or not. I don't think mine will look nice. Eh, it's fine. It's just a cactus farm. Yeah, so you want to make three of these, but we're not going to do the other two right now. You could probably just make one and then have everything set up, but I don't know if that's possible. So now you want to create an outer rim like this. You want to go one block off and put a block there and then do the same with all around. Because your water will... Water... 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 Blah, blah, blah. Water will be here, and you don't want it falling off, right? That's just the same. So you want to do that. You could use a different block if you want. You know you could use, like, every single block except for a sponge. Maybe a wet sponge. Because we are going to need water in this, as you can see. There's water bucket in my hot bar. Okay, wait, I need a drink of water. I'm good. Oh, sorry. I was just bending my, just moving my mic. I don't know if that made it sound weird. Okay, now, wait, can you plant cactus on sandstone? No, you are also going to need some sand. Sorry, I forgot about that. Ugh. Oh, sorry, I moved my mic again. So you want to bring it. Oops. Oops. Let me just get rid of that. You can make this in a dying cactus if you want. doesn't really matter. So you want to place down your sand, one block, then, then do block of your choice, sand, one block, block of your choice, sand, one block, block of your choice, sand. Make sure there's enough room, like what's happening here on my screen. Where there's one block away from all the corners and stuff. That's probably really, that is actually really important. It's not probably really important. It is really important. Now you want to repeat the process all along the edges. And if possible, we might put some more. Um, yeah, you can put them in all four corners of the, of the hole. Well, it's your choice if you want to do that or not, if you want it to be maximized efficient. So, I guess put this one block higher. 
it matters, okay? It matters. Now, don't start stacking this until I'm done. Because you will, you can, oops, not sand. But, well, you can stack this and project this is a stackable farm. Yeah. You could use fences or signs. No, I think only fences. Yeah. So you want to put it one block on top. So the cactus, when it grows up, well, it will break. Actually, put it in the middle here. I think it still works if it's in the corner. Wait, let's see. Nope. You need it to be beside. So you need it to be beside like this. So make a cross like this and then break the middle one. And then repeat the same process over here until you get fences placed beside each one. So when the cactus grows, it's a pop off easily and then fall off into the water to give you cactus infinite money. And if you're doing this on a server, this is a good money maker. You could sell the green dye, the bone meal, the cactus, or really anything. Well, I hope that people on the server that you're playing on like green dye and cactus, because that's probably, and bone meal, because that's the only thing that this farm makes. And XP, experience points, but you can't really sell that. It doesn't even matter. I'm missing one here, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, one more cross here. Yeah, it should be all. Then you want, before we add the cactus, you just break that. We want to put water. Hmm. How am I going to make this work? Hmm. I could probably just put water in every corner. I think that will all flow to the middle. Right? Okay, so let's say I'm um, cactus here. I flow in to there. Over here. Yeah, I flow in. So yeah, the cactus will flow in from anywhere. It might take a while in some of the spots, but it will eventually. Then you want to put your hoppers. Can you sift in water? No, that's caps lock. Sorry, I might sneeze. Nope. Then you want to... Can't reach the hopper. Then you want to bring your hoppers all the way up like that. Let me just put that sand back. Then actually, I'm going to destroy that one. Oh, nope. I need that there. <laughs> Oops. Then you could have how much storage you want for your test, for your cactus. And you could stack it like this. You could put, like, another layer of sandstone up here. And then you could repeat the process until, well, you have what you like. Oh, and also add the cactus on top of every little... On top of all the sand blocks. That will help. Well, yeah, that will help a lot. It will make the farm work. Yeah, like that. There you go. Now you got a cactus farm. Now we want to... <coughs> do this again. But this time for, for, for green dye. Let me just build another one off camera. And I'll be back once I build it. Hi guys, I'm back. I just made the second farm. Um, no, nothing yet from this, but I, pretty, uh, it takes a while. Start getting your stuff. Start getting the cactus. I'm pretty sure that the farm's like the same exact thing. Probably different cactus. Now that's really cool. <laughs> Okay, so this one will be the smelt, the smelting. So, as you can see, 48, die. So, I'll show you this. So, you put the cactus in. Now, oh, I don't want my green dye to go into the test. You flick the lever. It sends a redstone signal to the comparator. I wonder what that does. See, and then it doesn't leave. And 
Here's proof. There's a hopper under. Well, not anymore. <laughs> now there's a hopper underneath again. Well, let's say. Hmm, never mind. I want it to go in. You unflick the lever. It's gone. There. Now let's say. I want to get some XP. I know they only smelted three, but why not? So this should work. Let me go to survival mode. I have four levels. And now I have six levels. And it's not just from one. It's from all the other 48, 51, 52 cactus. So it's a little XP farm. Slash green dye. Slash cactus. Slash bone meal farm. That's a lot of farms. And no, I did not copy paste those. I don't have world edit. And I do not know how to do that. I just rebuilt it. Sad. I want some more XP. Even though I don't need it. Okay, now let me go back. Oh, I didn't want to take a screenshot. Not yet. It's not thumbnail time yet. There, 56 green die. Gonna keep that smelting. <laughs> and now... We're going to need to build a gigantic super smelter. It's going to be crazy. Let me just get rid of those. Redstone dust, redstone comparator, lever, lever, whatever. Oh, I need a furnace. I need that water. Where's the water? Where? Where is it again? Oh, it's in... Tools and utilities. Okay, got my water bucket. Now we're gonna put a test. You could probably also make a wither skeleton farm for all the coal. Well, you're gonna need to if you want to have lots. And I don't know how to make one. No, I don't. Okay, now we just do that. Now it's time to make the super smelter. One, two, three, four. Four on one side, and then one, one, two, three, four. Probably since I've built, so, sorry, shouldn't have built that that far away. Blah. Then we're gonna put all the furnaces. Oops. Let me just put all the furnaces on facing forwards. Well, actually, it doesn't matter what direction they face. Well, it's going to look really cool and satisfying if you make them face forward. That's what I'm doing. When they all turn on. So, like that. And then we want to add... Oh. Huh. I guess that we could put in the... The coal and stuff manually. Yeah, we could do that instead. There's not really any way to put the hopper back there for the coal and also put the switch that I know of. So we've got to put in the coal manually, so hopefully you don't make it too big. But if you do find out a way to put the coal in, um, with that, I recommend that you do that. And if you don't know much about redstone, you might want to check out another video. But after this one, finish this one first. What am I looking for? Oh, yeah, another block. I'm going to use... Jeez. You could just look at the ground. Blah, blah. Now you want to put that behind every single furnace. Whoops. All the furnaces just like this. Well, and then you want to do that again. So you want to have it two blocks. Like this. Then we're going to put comparator facing in to it not not out because that will read the signal from the furnace in it will give the single signal to the furnace then you don't want to turn it on or off because i don't know what that does then you want to give this put the redstone input to all of those and then bring your redstone over here and then you could use a lever or something like that turn it all on and off Okay, let me just put the lever there. The master switch. <sighs> Doesn't reach all the way. I'm gonna need a repeater. It might 
if you need a repeater, it will cause a slight delay. But that's okay. There we go. Let me just do time set. Slash time set day. Time set day. Ah, it's day. Why does it look so weird? Oh, I don't know. Then you also want to put... You also want hoppers on top of the furnaces. This will be where the cactus will go in to turn into green dye. And then, yeah, that's for inside the furnaces. And if you want to put um, stuff, um, fuel inside, you want to put it on the side, not on the top. It's weird. And then instead of having a test here, no cactus, all. You want to make a bubble elevator. I know, it's a lot. It's a lot of things. <laughs> well, it is a very complicated farm. So you want a dropper, not a dispenser, a dropper for your stuff to go into the bubble elevator. Then you want to make the bubble elevator like you usually do. I'm not going to use glass, I'm going to use sandstone. Don't worry, it won't take five minutes, because five minutes is the time for something to despawn in Minecraft. Won't take five minutes to get from there to there. Oh, uh, yeah. And to fill up all your furnaces, you're going to want to put sandstone on the sides to create like a little rim because you want to put water in it so the water flows all the way around so they could. <sighs> See, I'm out of breath. So they could all get filled up equally. Whoa. Not totally equally, I think. So this is the same with anything that you want to, like if you have multiples that are all in a row. Will it go all the way? No. That means that if it doesn't go all the way, so in my case it doesn't, you want to put it one block higher and then it should go one block higher, and then it should go all the way. That was annoying. What? Let's try this again. One block higher. Well, it's not getting there. Huh. Do I sort in it? Do I? Hmm. No, actually, I don't need the last block to have any water on it. That's right. Last block is unnecessary for water because uh, I know it might just flow in slowly like that. Yeah, and the best part is you don't even have to have any blocks beside it. <laughs> now let me just finish up this bubble elevator. You probably want to have it like one block all over top of what of what you're making. Oh, it just worked. See, if you thought it doesn't work, it does work. Might demonstrate it itself again. So the cactus grows, it hits the fence post, it f falls. I don't really know if it's a glitz or an intentional game design, but whatever it is, it's amazing. And you want to have one more block up, then you want water flowing to here. Then you want to have another dropper over here into the water stream. Then you want hoppers going to there. It's very complicated. I hope that everything works. Nope. Yes. Nope. How did I get a furnace in my hand? Yes. And it should be at the same block. This is actually my first time making one of these. But I believe this should work. Because all the components are working. But this is the thing that I'm scared about. I don't know if this will work. 
in particular. This is the one thing I'm not sure about, but I really hope it does work. I'm not the best mine. I'm not the best redstoner though. It should work. So to here the items should go all the way in. Oh, I need to create the little redstone circuit. This time with the comparator facing out. Oops. And then you want redstone beside it. Well, not like that. Redstone all the way. All the way around it. Not touching it again. Oops. Not test. Going into the dropper. So every time that there's something, it will get pushed. Oh, well, every time there's a little bit. Who knew that this could be so complicated? And you're probably there just raising your hand. <laughs> watching this on whatever. Then you want Bring up your bubble elevator. All the way up. Even up to here. Yeah, perfect. Then you probably should put a block on top of there. So they don't move and then fall out. Sorry if that made you dizzy. If that made you dizzy, you probably shouldn't be playing Minecraft. That was just a water break, if you're wondering. And, well, that's not it. Then we have to, have to, have to, have to, have to, have to make the one for the composter. Now we gotta do the same thing with the comparator down here. So we could get whenever there's a set amount of cactuses, it pushes it out. And... Oh, yeah, I forgot. We need to link up the hoppers. Should be a little demonstration of how it works. So, it should be coming up. Oh, yeah. I forgot. This isn't linked up. Linked up. But it is. Over here, put the comparator. Okay, so there's going to be have to have to have a lot of cactuses because I'm making this so long. There. At least it's better than having that all loop around there. Now I just got to wait for more cactuses for this part to see if it works. Oh, it's probably turned that off. So, this is a guaranteed green dye farm. I'm not exactly sure if it will work as XP, but worked over there as XP with like a lot of XP, so it should work over here. XP. That's a fun word to say. See? It just popped. This is actually like really efficient. This is not my design, I believe not. And you could always make this closer to the actual farm. It looks really nice. Oh, we. I said also probably. <coughs> my throat's dry. So probably also bring out the, the cactus. Cactus test over here. I'm gonna do that later. Now I'm gonna go off and build this again for the. Hey guys, I'm back. I just finished the third cactus farm. Well, that's a lot of cactuses, I gotta say. I put on the other side of the normal cactus farm. It's gonna be the bone meal one. So you wanna get some calm posters. And you wanna put... Let's do ten again. Wait. One block above. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. You want to you want to have one block of space underneath so you could put your test um, There's no middle. Oh Well, I'll put it right there Um, I'm actually gonna put it there. So if you know how to make a gig storage system good for you make that instead of this Because this is well Not the best storage I might be uploading a video about sword system, but it's most likely not. But I'm most likely not gonna. 
Okay, so now we want to do the same thing with the droppers and soul sand. I want to do the same exact thing with the all the um, bubble elevatory stuff. You want to have a hopper on top because if there's a hopper on top and there's something that can be hoppered, what what that can be composted, it becomes bone meal. So I don't know if it works on Bedrock Edison, but I do know that it works on Java Edison. So congratulations. Wait. Slash ah, time set day. This isn't to help with the video, it's because it's hard to see. Okay, maybe like right here. Wait, no. No. You could also put the dropper underneath the soul sand because that works equally as good. Then we want to make the same bubble elevator. Like before, I think that you know how. It'd sort of be a little bit odd if you didn't know how to make a bubble elevator. But that's okay. Because I think that I've been in a game since like 1.13. So, oh yeah. One more higher. You want to always have one block. Two blocks actually higher than the area that you want to have it in, have whatever in, and now we're going to do, oh, it's hard to breathe after all this talking, this time you don't need any coal or nothing like that, I love Tic Tacs, I'm addicted to them, <laughs> right now, so you want to put a little barrier again for the water, why do I keep switching the sandstone, I'm not even moving it, what? I'm not even scrolling, but I keep switching the sand. What? Soul sand. Whoa, it's in the morning and I'm. Whoa. And one block up again. Because if you remember last time. Yeah, 10 blocks. Same thing. So you can make this as long as you want. And it doesn't really matter how long it is. I think that longer is better, but in my case, I'm just doing a quick, mm, not really quick, an easy, a tutorial. So it has to take a, so it's, I'm making it sorter. Yeah, so it's quicker and easier to understand. And you want to do the same thing with the dropper, like on the other one. It'll be a lot till something drops. I'm going to check if there's anything in the furnaces. Because this is the one where there should be a lot. Nope. Nothing yet. But there's still some things in the dropper. Whew. Probably going to take a few stacks till it gets all the way over here. You might want to add a repeater if you want to go faster. But it's up to you. Oh, yeah. Let Move this to the side that the bubble elevator is not at. <laughs> I've done this so many times, but I still don't understand it. Whoo! So you want to move it to the side where the bubble elevator is not, so you can put in your hopper. Yes, I did it. The hopper is going to be the most important part. Well, it's probably due here. Then you still want to have the little, oh no. Sorry, need to make this one more high. <laughs> there, now this should work. Like water to here. And then hoppers. You want to do the same exact thing as the other side. We're basically doing the same thing, but a different setup underneath. Because one is for green dye, one's for bone meal. Don't worry, I've tested. Um, cactus does give you, um, bone meal. Why would I put it in, in a video if it didn't? And it at least does on Java Edison, and if you, it doesn't on Bedrock. I, I have a video with how to make a sugarcane farm. Make that. Because sugarcane goes in. Well, let's make the water elevator again. Water elevators are satisfying. 
Perfect. The right amount of blocks again. Then you want to put a block on top so the stuff doesn't go Ooh! flies out. <laughs> and then well that is I think it. Did I add the cactus? Yeah. So let's see how much cactus we got in I don't know how long. Sixteen cactus. Okay, nice. I forgot. Oh, we're not done with the video. What? It's not a bad thing. Why did I make it sound like a bad thing? It's because I... I forgot to add the hopper train. Trail. Whatever. Then you want to add this as your final thing. And then... I don't think that there's anything else. I think that's all. You could um, disguise it as whatever you want. You can make a big, complicated storage system. Wait, let me get some coal to see if it actually does work. Okay, good. I have some in my inventory. Let me just fill it up with coal. Middle mouse button. If you're... <sighs> Ignore that. <laughs> Let me just place coal in every single one of them. You could probably use blaze rods, because I know that blaze rods is a fuel source. Both editions. If you're wondering, I have done it on Bedrock Edition before. So, yeah, both editions. No, not just one coal. All. Pressing the wrong button. Put all coal in. I actually think I am going to add repeaters so uh, it could actually like start dispensing. Yeah, add repeaters. That will help. It'll make it 10 times better. Just a repeater there. And then. Not again. Why do I always do that? <sighs> Wrong direction. No. No. Let me just place this. Let me just try to fix this real quick. Because right now it's a big disaster. Like, you could probably see that. I hope. <sighs> Delete the water. Now I could sift. Then place that. Should be the right direction. Just put that there. Okay, so... Now, all I need to fix is the problem. Uh, I need to get that water back. <laughs> Sorry, this is not turning out how I'd like it to at all. No bubbles. I need to add bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. We want bubbles. Bubbles. Not again. Water, block, done. Now I need, actually I'm not even gonna bother going to the creative inventory to get a comparator. There. Whew. Okay, good, there's nothing in there yet. Now you wanna make sure that there's nothing in there when you put it in, or I think it will like mess it up or something. Okay, good. No cactus in this. Then you place it in. And...
Oh, same thing here. On both sides, you want to add rep repeaters. Not again! <laughs> At least it's not a big E. Yes, finally placed it. Wait, half? No, half. Should be five, yes. Okay, it's worthing. Oh, I'm collecting it. I don't want that. Uh, if I put those four cactuses in. Yeah, see, it's perfect, it works. Well, not this part. <laughs> you want to put three high hall walls on both of the farms. See, we're learning together. Now that's nice. Actually, that's better. <laughs> yeah, three high walls. You probably want to also put some lighting. Like I said before, you can make the, you can put this in a big cactus or something. Whatever you'd like. It doesn't just have to say a big whatever. But make sure to make the farm first and then fit, then build whatever around it. Yes, I know things about building. Yes. Oh no. I forgot to put the Well, it will take a little bit more, it will take longer to get all the bone meal, because, well, it takes a while to get bone meal from a composter. Oh, we should probably also put, did I? Sorry, this is taking a little bit longer than I thought. You probably also should put blocks all around the composters. So the bone meal goes in and only in the underneath hoppers and nowhere else. I hope that doesn't go onto the top hoppers. <laughs> That'd be funny. Well, except for those two. Actually, instead I'm going to move the test over here. Seems smarter. Whoops. Whoops. Yes. Yes. Now I can put the sandstone. I need a few Tic Tacs. Mmm, Tic Tacs. Oh, do you know that um, wandering traders drink invis invisibility potions? <laughs> now, I believe that this is that's all for this video today. Like and subscribe. Go check out all my other videos. Ones that interest you. I don't want you to check out ones that you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.